Uh, number 10, uh, social media, I think, is going to uh, play big in and, and maybe even be a deciding factor uh, in the election that we'll have, the presidential election we'll have in November. Uh, to say nothing of the uh, uh, congressional campaigns and uh, all that sort of thing that we'll see along the way as well. Uh, here are just a, a couple of examples, screenshots that I took from uh, the uh, uh, Facebook pages of Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can just tell one of the huge stories of the 2008 campaign was Barack Obama and his use of social media to connect people to the campaign, uh, to create a sort of uh, vibe around it and an energy around it that had never been done before uh, in the absence of those tools in previous campaigns. Um, and now we're going to see that happening uh, on both sides of the aisle um, as, uh, as all politicians start to you know, really understand and get social media and why it's going to be so important for uh, building up uh, an energized voter base. Uh, so expect to be hearing about social media as we hear news about the, the elections for the next uh, almost full year. Uh, number 11, uh, deal sites will come and go. Uh, and what I mean by this, uh, this uh, screenshot, or not a screenshot, but, but what's showing on this slide um, is six um, deals companies who deliver things to my inbox every day. Um, Groupon, Living Social, you've heard of. Google Offers, you've heard of. Sharing Spree is one you may not have heard of. Mamapedia is mostly things sort of geared toward moms. Uh, Fox 12 Oregon is our local Fox affiliate uh, here in Portland, and they've started up their own daily deals program uh, as well. And this is not, I mean, uh, this is not to mention things like um, this, the combined Groupon and Expedia uh, travel uh, offers that I get. A Living Social has uh, a Living Social Families one, a Living Social that is geared toward a particular part of town. Uh, and that sort of thing. So, so even within Groupon and Living Social, you're seeing some fragmenting there uh, of, of those services. Uh, and I think in 2012, what we're going to see is uh, we're going to see some of the smaller deal sites uh, fading away and, and eventually going out of business uh, or being sort of, sort of pulled the way, you know, and, and we saw that in 2011 a little bit. Uh, where Facebook decided to end its deals program, Yelp decided to end its deals program. Uh, I think the message that we're seeing here uh, is that deals programs are, are really hard to, to make work and to make financially viable. Uh, Groupon and Living Social seem to be making a, a pretty good go at it at this point. Um, but it is hard to, to really make it work, which is why some companies are saying, okay, let's pull the plug on this. And at the same time, they are compelling and they're popular. And so I do think we will see more deal sites uh, unveiling themselves in, in 2012 um, because people still think that this is a, something that they can make work, uh, particularly if they come up with different financial models than uh, sort of what Groupon and Living Social have done so far. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this, but I think, I think the, the landscape, I think this slide that I show you a year from now uh, will maybe look a, a bit different. Uh, and number 12, images and video will become more important. Um, we're seeing this already on, uh, on Facebook, um, where, where Facebook is giving a lot of priority and emphasis in terms of the stories that it pushes to the top of news feeds. Uh, it's, going, it's giving priority and emphasis to things that include videos or images, uh, photos that you've uploaded, things like that. Um, as opposed to text-only status updates or, or even just simple links. Um, we're also seeing the, the rise of things like Pinterest um, and other social media networks that uh, rely a lot more on, on images and video uh, and, and are exclusively geared toward sharing those ty types of things. Uh, we're seeing uh, in, the, in the last year we saw uh, Twitter introduce um, the ability to, to post photos along with your tweets. Um, Google Plus, uh, when it came out, had a really attractive uh, format for doing, uh, for, for showing images uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, I think YouTube more and more is, is going to be, 
you know, seen as its own social media network and, and a place where people can connect and, uh, and share things with others and their friends. So just know uh, that images and video are, are uh, going to be sort of really important for your success in terms of uh, how you do social media. And so the more you can be uh, uploading new things, creating new content, that's going to be helping your social media presence as well. So those are the, the 12 uh, sort of uh, predictions I, I have for 2012. And I do want to talk about a few takeaways uh, for these uh, as, we, uh, as I close here. So um, number one takeaway is it's a great time for New Year's resolutions. And what I mean by that is uh, you know, if you've been on the fence about social media or if you feel like uh, your social media presence is doing okay but is not doing wonderfully, uh, you know, now might be the time to revisit that. We have a, a client who uh, for a few years now has had their uh, company set up as a, a Facebook individual profile uh, and they are just now um, at the very beginning of this new year uh, switching over to a company page uh, and, and making that switch because they know that it's time uh, to take that leap and, and um, you know, finally sort of get their Facebook presence in order. Um, so. Uh, it really is a, a good time to sort of make a renewed commitment uh, to social media and, and make a plan, especially for where you want to be with social media by the end of this year. Uh, takeaway number two, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus uh, are all important leaders in social media who are making room for companies. Uh, they're, they're really, uh, you know, they've, they've all introduced things. Uh, actually just in the last couple of months uh, to help companies with their, uh, with their presence on those, these social networks. Um, the next webinar that I do, and I'll, I'll say, mention this again in a minute, but it's going to be focused on uh, how to manage your different company profiles uh, on these, these three different services. Once, once Twitter starts letting companies do profiles, how do you want to handle uh, you know, having a presence on all three of these service, services without without killing yourself. Um, and, and so uh, these are, just know that, that these three are, are really trying to reach out to companies and uh, that they're important places for you to be. Um, takeaway number three, as you saw with several of the things that I mentioned, the ability to market and to track is, is better than it ever has been. Um, again, with Facebook unveiling new advertising possibilities, uh, with, with new targeting tools becoming available, uh, it really is a, a, an interesting time for, for getting into uh, uh, social media and, uh, and advertising on social media. I, last month, uh, I think we were running, I think Pivot was running six different uh, advertising campaigns for uh, various clients through uh, Facebook and also through Google AdWords. And that was the most we'd, we'd ever done it at once. Uh, so this just continues to grow and, and to be important for companies. Uh, as they think about their marketing campaigns. And then takeaway number four, uh, having a point person is half the battle. And what I mean by this is that we still see a lot uh, in various companies where they don't have a single person who is sort of the point person, the go-to person for their social media presence. Um, it, it, and, you know, as we all know, the, the cliche goes that, uh, you know, something that's owned by everyone is really owned by no one. Um, and so I think if you, if you don't have somebody in your company whose job it is to, uh, you know, it's part of their, their job description to handle the social media uh, presence and to make sure that, that they're keeping up on social media developments, uh, they are updating your company pages regularly, they're responding to customer comments regularly, you need to make sure you have a person who is responsible for that, who is getting some training in social media, who is learning about the tools that are out there, uh, and ultimately who is responsible for the success of the company's uh, social media presence and, and for, for really you know, turning that into something that is, is generating uh, good relationships with customers, um, some loyalty among customers, um, and, and hopefully increased revenue as well. Um, so if you don't have a, a point person, you might really think about, about assigning someone as we enter this, this new year. So those are the uh, takeaways I have. I, I uh, see there are a couple of questions here. I've, I forgot to mention um, that 
Uh, you can, of course, add in questions of your own um, uh, in the GoToWebinar control panel. Uh, but I do have some, uh, some questions here that people have asked. Um, one of them is, uh, is it worth trying to facilitate a deal site in our small community? Uh, what about classified ads or other community sites? Um, so uh, I think the question of whether you want to facilitate a deal site in your own community, I think it's a great question. Uh, and I think it depends a, a whole lot on how much time you want to give to it um, and, and whether you think you can come up with a revenue model that's going to make it work. I think it could be very compelling in many of uh, the small communities in which uh, our clients operate. Uh, it could be very compelling to have a, a locally based uh, deals program. It doesn't have to look exactly the same as Groupon. The, the uh, discounts don't have to be necessarily be quite as high, uh, all, although you know, obviously it helps. Uh, the bigger, biggest discount you can give. It also doesn't have to be a daily thing. Uh, it could be something where uh, you are uh, doing a, a weekly deal or something like that. Uh, I think there are a lot of compelling reasons to do it. You just ha would have to make a corporate commitment to it uh, and, and have somebody whose job it is to spearhead that uh, and really, really make it work. Uh, and then related to that, the part of the question was, uh, what about classified ads or other community sites? Um, we do have many of our clients who have done website redesign projects with us uh, are, are also adding community sites uh, to their pages, which are basically start pages where people can get information like uh, the weather, information about stocks. Uh, some of our, as this question asks, some of our clients are in fact doing, uh, you know, sort of allowing a place for community classified ads. Uh, it sort of becomes a, uh, as I mentioned it, as I described it to one person, it's sort of a Craigslist for a small community uh, and without all the creepiness. Uh, so uh, th that is uh, definitely something you can do on community sites. Uh, it's, it's been a great tool uh, for our clients who are using it for something that they can give to the offer to the community for free. Uh, and it also helps to clean up their corporate websites, which uh, often have been sort of uh, made pretty busy with things like, like uh, local weather uh, or uh, other local interest links. Uh, so community sites are, are uh, a great idea and, and something that we're doing more and more for clients. Uh, so that's, uh, I think, about all the time we have today. Um, the, I want to point you to the, uh, the next Straight Talk on Social Media webinar. It's actually going to be Friday, February 10th, so that's uh, a little over a month away, five weeks from today. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, we have some uh, travel coming up as a company, uh, and I, you can actually learn some more about that on our Facebook page probably next week. Um, but some, some travel coming up as a company. Uh, we also, uh, uh, and then I have a, a personal vacation after that. So Friday, February 10th, we'll be talking about managing multiple company pages. Uh, and uh, like I said, talking about, you know, now that Google Plus and Facebook both offer company pages and uh, Twitter is, is right around the corner to offering it to all companies, uh, how should you go about managing those company pages? Uh, how should you do that to make sure that you are um, make make sure that you are that you have enough time to do it all that, that all of your sites are, are staying fresh? Um, uh, yeah, I mean that, that that's basically will be the topic of that that next one. Thank you so much for joining me today. You see that Dave Newstrom's next straight talk on telephone marketing is still TBD. Uh, we'll let you know about that as soon as we uh, know the date for that. Uh, have a great weekend, everyone. Uh, again, happy New Year. And remember to keep your media social and your talk straight.